Do particular interactions make you feel drained? Do you struggle to maintain your positive energy while negative energy people? How do you preserve your high frequency when faced with really disturbing events? In reality, it is really difficult to stay happy in a place filled with low energy people. But what if we could find ways to tolerate these people and live as happily as we wanted? Today, we explore strategies and mindset shifts to help us maintain our high frequency no matter who we encounter. Energy vampires are not real vampires, they are real people who unknowingly drain the energy of those around them. Believe it or not, they could be our closest of friends or family members, our colleagues, or even casual acquaintances. One of the best ways to know an energy vampire is how you feel after an interaction with them. Tiredness, anxiety, and negativity are red flags, indicating that your energy has been drained. Energy vampires may frequently complain, criticize, or portray themselves as victims, constantly seeking attention and sympathy. Another characteristic of energy vampires is their lack of boundaries. They might intrude your privacy and disregard your needs and feelings. They often expect you to drop everything for their own crisis, no matter how trivial. This constant demand for your time and attention can be really draining. They also tend to be highly manipulative, using guilt, obligation, or manipulation to keep you engaged in their problems. This emotional manipulation is only a massive energy trap. Interestingly, energy vampires often seem to have a magnetic charm. Initially, they may appear friendly and engaging, often masking their true nature. This is all like a snake's camouflage, drawing the prey in. Recognizing these signs is the first step to protecting yourself. Pay attention to your own reactions and feelings during and after interactions with people. If someone leaves you drained constantly, you might want to reconsider your relationship with him or her. Self-awareness is all about knowing your triggers, recognizing your responses, and understanding how your environment affects you. When you are aware of your internal state, you can manage your reactions to low-frequency people. With self-awareness, you can identify the precise moment your energy begins to dip. This recognition allows you to take proactive steps like deep breathing, refocusing of your thoughts, or even stepping away for a moment. Between high-frequency and low-frequency emotions, which emotions and thoughts are most contagious? Does happiness spread faster and better? What makes up a true smile? All these questions and more are answered in the Kibalion, a book that exposed hermetic secrets and also speaks on vibrational frequencies. Get a free copy of this book by clicking the link in the description below. Self-awareness also fosters empathy, enabling you to understand why low-frequency individuals act the way they do. Recognizing that their negativity often stems from their own struggles can shift your perspective from frustration to compassion. This approach doesn't mean absorbing their energy, but rather understanding their pain without letting it disturb you. It's compassion with detachment, offering support without getting entangled in their emotional mess. Mindfulness is also a crucial tool in self-awareness. It involves being present and fully engaged in the moment. By incorporating this, you enhance your ability to stay aware of your internal state and how external factors influence you, helping you respond to low-frequency people with calmness and clarity. Regular reflection is another vital component. Taking time to assess your interactions with low-frequency individuals can provide valuable insights. What worked well? What didn't? How did you feel during and after the interaction? These reflections can guide you in refining your approach, ensuring that you continuously improve your ability to maintain your high frequency. Moreover, self-awareness empowers you to stay aligned with your values and purpose. 
When you are clear about what matters most to you, it becomes easier to navigate negativity without losing sight of your goals. Your high frequency is fueled by your passions, aspirations, and positive mindset. By staying true to yourself and your values, you can rise above the noise and continue to radiate positivity. Boundaries are like fences that protect your positive energy from being eroded by negativity. Creating them starts with recognizing your own needs and limits. Understand what drains your energy and what replenishes it. Pay attention to how you feel after interacting with certain people or engaging in specific activities. This self-awareness will guide you in identifying where boundaries are necessary. It's about being honest with yourself and acknowledging that it's okay to prioritize your well-being. Communicating your boundaries clearly is also very important. When you explain your limits to others, be direct but respectful. It's important to express your needs without guilt or apology. Remember, setting boundaries is an act of self-care, not selfishness. Reinforcing your boundaries consistently is essential. Once you've communicated with them, stick to them. If you allow exceptions too often, your boundaries become weak and ineffective. It might be challenging at first, especially if you're used to accommodating others at your own expense. However, the more you practice, the more natural it will become. People may resist initially, but over time, they will learn to respect your limits. Creating effective boundaries also involves learning to say, no. Saying no can be difficult, especially if you're a people pleaser or fear disappointing others. However, every time you say yes to something that drains you, you are saying no to your own well-being. Practice saying no with kindness and firmness. Set boundaries with yourself. This means being disciplined about how you spend your time and energy. Avoid overcommitting and ensure you allocate time for rest and activities that rejuvenate you. Self-boundaries help you maintain balance and prevent burnout. Another key aspect is surrounding yourself with positive influences. Seek out relationships and environments that uplift and inspire you. When you are regularly exposed to high-frequency people and positive energy, it becomes easier to maintain your own high-frequency. These supportive connections can act as a buffer against the negativity of low-frequency individuals. Remember that boundaries are dynamic. As you grow and your circumstances change, your boundaries may need to be adjusted. Regularly reflect on your needs and reassess your boundaries. The journey begins with who you call your own. Your environment has a huge effect on your mood and energy levels. Start by creating a space that radiates positivity. This could mean decluttering your home or workspace, filling your environment with uplifting colors, and incorporating elements that bring you joy, like plants, artwork, or inspirational quotes. A tidy, aesthetically pleasing space can significantly elevate your mood and energy. Next, Consider the people in your life. Relationships play a crucial role in your overall happiness and energy levels. Seek out and nurture connections with high-frequency individuals who inspire, support, and uplift you. These are people who celebrate your successes, offer encouragement during tough times, and share your values and passions. Surrounding yourself with positive, like-minded people creates a network of support and positivity that reinforces your own high frequency. On the flip side, it is essential to distance yourself from negative influences. This doesn't mean cutting people off, but rather setting boundaries to protect your energy. If someone constantly drains you or brings negativity into your life, limit your interactions with them. Your well-being should always be a priority and it's okay to protect it fiercely. Engaging in activities that promote positivity is another key strategy. 
Pursue hobbies and interests that bring you joy and fulfillment. Whether it's painting, hiking, playing music, or reading, immersing yourself in activities you love boosts your mood and enhances your overall sense of happiness. Regularly dedicating time to these pursuits ensures a steady flow of positive energy in your life. Positive self-talk is a powerful tool for maintaining a high frequency. The way you speak to yourself shapes your reality. Replace negative, self-critical thoughts with affirmations and encouraging statements. Consistent positive self-talk fosters a resilient, optimistic mindset. Another effective way to surround yourself with positivity is by consuming positive media. Be mindful of what you watch, read, and listen to. Choose content that inspires, educates, and uplifts you. Whether it's motivational podcasts, uplifting movies, or insightful books, positive media can significantly influence your mindset and energy levels. Acts of kindness also generate positivity. Engaging in kind deeds, whether big or small, creates a ripple effect of goodwill. Helping others not only boosts their spirits, but also elevates your own. Kindness fosters a sense of connection and purpose, reinforcing your high frequency. Gratitude is the act of recognizing and appreciating the good in your life. It shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant, fostering a mindset of contentment and fulfillment. This shift is crucial when dealing with low-frequency people, as it helps you stay grounded in positivity even when negativity surrounds you. One of the most effective gratitude practices is keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, take a few moments to write down three things you are grateful for. These can range from significant events to small, everyday blessings. For example, you might note the support of a close friend, the beauty of a sunset, or a delicious meal. By consistently reflecting on these positive aspects, you train your mind to focus on the good, which acts as a buffer against the negativity of low-frequency individuals. Expressing gratitude to others is another powerful practice. When you take the time to thank people in your life, you not only strengthen your relationships, but also reinforce your own positive mindset. Whether it's a heartfelt thank you note, a text message, or a face-to-face -face conversation, expressing appreciation helps you recognize and amplify the positivity around you. This, in turn, makes it easier to maintain your high frequency when interacting with low-frequency people. Incorporating gratitude into your daily routine can also be a mental exercise. Begin and end each day with a moment of reflection silently acknowledging what you are thankful for. This simple practice sets a positive tone for your day and helps you unwind with a sense of appreciation at night. By consistently focusing on gratitude, you create a habit of positivity that can withstand the influence of negativity. Letting go begins with acknowledging what no longer serves you. This could be a toxic relationship, a negative belief, or a persistent worry. Holding onto these elements only drags your energy down, making it harder to stay positive and focused. By consciously choosing to let go, you create space for positivity and new opportunities to enter your life. One powerful method to practice letting go is through forgiveness. Forgiving those who have wronged you, whether intentionally or unintentionally is a profound act of self-care. It doesn't mean you condone their actions. Rather, it means you release the hold their actions have on your emotions. Holding onto grudges and anger only ties you to negative energy. By forgiving, you free yourself and maintain your high frequency. Letting go also involves releasing the need to control everything. Life is unpredictable, and trying to control every outcome can lead to frustration and stress. Instead, focus on what you can control, your reactions, and your mindset. Accepting that you cannot change others 
or dictate every situation allows you to flow with life's ups and downs without being dragged down by low-frequency people or circumstances. Another aspect of letting go is detaching from outcomes. Often, we become fixated on how things should turn out, whether in our personal or professional lives. This attachment can create anxiety and disappointment when things don't go as planned. By letting go of rigid expectations and embracing flexibility, you remain open to different possibilities and maintain a positive outlook, regardless of external pressures. Mindfulness and meditation are invaluable tools in the practice of letting go. These practices help you stay present and aware of your thoughts and emotions without judgment. When you notice negative thoughts or feelings arising, acknowledge them and then gently let them pass. This mindful approach prevents you from getting entangled in low frequency energy and keeps your focus on the present moment where your true power lies. A physical ritual of letting go can also be symbolic and empowering. This could involve writing down what you want to release on a piece of paper and then burning it, symbolizing the act of letting go and transforming your energy. Such rituals reinforce your commitment to maintaining a high frequency and remind you of your ability to choose positivity. The importance of self-care cannot be overstated. It is not just a luxury or an occasional indulgence. It is a critical practice for maintaining your high frequency, ensuring your well-being, and staying resilient in the face of external negativity. By prioritizing self-care, you create a strong foundation that supports your positivity and energy, allowing you to navigate life's challenges with grace and strength. Self-care begins with the recognition that your well-being is paramount. It is about acknowledging your needs and taking deliberate actions to meet them. This might involve setting aside time for activities that nourish your mind, body and spirit, such as exercise, meditation, reading, or simply enjoying a quiet moment with a cup of tea. These small but significant acts of self-care help replenish your energy and keep your frequency high. One of the fundamental aspects of self-care is taking care of your physical health. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep are the cornerstones of physical well-being. When you feel good physically, it directly impacts your mental and emotional state, making it easier to maintain a positive outlook. Exercise, in particular, is a powerful mood booster, releasing endorphins that help combat stress and negativity. By prioritizing your physical health, you build resilience against the draining effects of low-frequency people. Mental self-care is equally important. This involves nurturing your mind by engaging in activities that stimulate and inspire you. It could be pursuing a hobby, learning something new, or simply taking time to relax and unwind. Mental self-care also means setting boundaries to protect your mental space from negativity. This could involve limiting exposure to negative news, avoiding toxic conversations, or taking breaks from social media. By safeguarding your mental health, you preserve your high frequency and stay centered amidst chaos. Emotional self-care is about acknowledging and honoring your feelings. It's essential to give yourself permission to feel and process emotions without judgment. This might involve talking to a trusted friend, writing in a journal, or seeking professional support when needed. Emotional self-care helps you stay connected to your inner self, fostering a sense of peace and stability that shields you from the negative energy of low-frequency individuals. Spiritual self-care is another critical component, regardless of your religious or spiritual beliefs. This might involve practices that help you feel connected to something greater than yourself, such as meditation, prayer, spending time in nature, or engaging in creative activities. Spiritual self-care 
nurtures your soul and helps you find meaning and purpose, elevating your frequency and keeping you grounded. Self-care also involves saying no and setting boundaries. It's about recognizing your limits and not overextending yourself to please others. When you say no to things that drain your energy or compromise your well-being, you are saying yes to yourself. Maintaining a high frequency around low frequency people is a journey of self-awareness, intentionality, and resilience. By setting boundaries, practicing mindfulness, and surrounding yourself with positivity, you can preserve your energy and continue to radiate positivity. Remember, you have the power to choose your responses and maintain your high frequency, no matter the external circumstances. Your high frequency is a gift, not just to yourself, but to the world. Stay committed to your journey, embrace your positive energy, and inspire others along the way. You have the power to rise above negativity and shine your light brightly. Keep your frequency high and your spirit unshakable.